Arnold Barbosa Jr. versus Danielito Zoria. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, this fight between Barbosa and Zoria is scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior welterweight division to take place this Friday on the 15th of July, Friday, July 15, 2022, over at the Pachenga Resort Casino in Temecula, California, USA, to be shown live here in the United States of America on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or ESPN Deportes. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. It's a fight between two undefeated fighters. Someone's O has got to go. To those who don't know who Arnold Barbosa Jr. is, he's a 30-year-old fighter from California. Undefeated, 26-0, 10 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Barbosa is somebody who I think Top Rank has been padding up his record for, for the longest time now. I've always said before, for how many years now? I think since 20... I, th I think it was 2018? Like when he defeated Mike Reed, um, I was like, you know, I think he's ready to step it up. And since then, he hasn't really fought anyone that big. He's been fighting, you know, subpar opponents, um, especially against Mike Alvarado. I, I'm pretty sure that's when I was like, yo, he needs to stop fighting this type of opponents. He needs to really step it up. But for the past few years, he hasn't really stepped it up until, yeah, I would say now. <laughs> uh, until now, I think he's finally fighting somebody who will go out there and definitely give him a good fight. Barbosa, uh, I feel like he's been the favorite to win all these other fights before. Um, and now here he is, uh, you know, finally fighting somebody um, to look forward to, or at least somebody that I think will be a, a competitive fight. Uh, Barbosa was in talks. There were some talks about him possibly fighting Teofimo Lopez. But obviously that's not happening. Lopez is fighting Campana, Pedro Campa. Uh, but who knows? He might still land the uh, Lo the uh, Lopez fight in the future. Uh, Barbosa is up there in the rankings. If we look at the 140-pound division at the moment, Barbosa is ranked number six by the Ring Magazine, and he is ranked number eight by the WBO and number eleven by the WBC. So he's up there in the top 15. His opponent, to those who don't know who he is, is Danielito Zoria. Is a 28-year-old fighter from Puerto Rico with an undefeated record of 16 wins, 0 losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Uh, I believe he is with Miguel Cotto Promotions uh, or Cotto Promotions. He's coming with a spectacular win against Pablo Cesar Cano where he knocked him out in two rounds. Um, I was really impressed of what I saw in Zoria in that fight. It was my first time watching him too. And I, I was, you know, I was blown away. I, I was really, really impressed with that win. And now here he is landing a big fight on ESPN against uh, Arnold Barbosa, headlining an event against Arnold Barbosa Jr. Uh, Zoria is up there in the rankings as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure one of these sanctioning bodies have him. Yeah, he's ranked number 10 by the WBO. So he's up there in the rankings by one of them. Um, should be a good one, man. I think this should be a good fight. I think it will be a very good fight. And honestly... I, I'm, I'm leaning towards Zoria. <laughs> uh, Barbosa, you know, he's a good fighter. Barbosa's a good fighter. Uh, but Zoria has just really, really um, surprised me in that last fight against Kano. Stopping, knocking out Kano in two rounds. And I think Zoria will definitely go out there and hurt Barbosa as well. Um, as long as if Barbosa, you know, can box and move around, which he definitely has the ability to, but I don't think he can do that for the whole twelve for the whole ten rounds. Um, I think Zuria might be break might break him apart, and you know, possibly stop him in the second half of this fight. I can definitely see that happening, which I think will happen. Barbosa, like I said, he's been fighting guys that we know he could beat. For the past how many years now and in my opinion i think he's finally fighting somebody that will definitely challenge him and give him a tough fight i think it will be competitive throughout though i think it will be a close competitive fight until the later rounds and that's where i think um 
Zoria will have his moments um, and possibly stop Barbosa. And Zoria could be the next big fighter from Puerto Rico. You never know. You never know. I, I, I was. I, that's how impressed I was of the Pablo Cesar Cano fight. I, I, I have a feeling that Zoria could be that next guy from Puerto Rico. But we'll see. We will see. Maybe it's just a gut feeling for me. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards Zoria. TKO in the later rounds. I be, I believe in him. I believe in him. Let me know you guys think. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? I mean, we'll see, right? I mean, anything is possible in the sport of boxing. I've been wrong many times before, but uh, we will see. Looking forward to it. Mark it down on your calendars this Friday, uh, July 15, uh, live on ESPN. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.